So now I want to look at the quadriceps group. So first of all, I'm going to take away the tensor fascia lata and its IT band. Move that one out the way. And I'm going to take away the superficial sartorius muscle, which leaves behind my quadriceps group, my quadriceps femoris group. Named quadriceps because of the four heads um, of the four muscles. And on the front here, I've got the rectus femoris muscle. And that in um, its origin up here, it attaches to the anterior inferior uh, iliac spine. So here's my iliac spine. This will be the inferior uh, part of the anterior portion there. And you can see that the muscle is shaped a bit like a feather, a pennate muscle, it's shaped like a feather. So that feathering effect there. Um, and then it inserts all the way down onto the patella all the way down to the tibial tuberosity here via this, this is the patella ligament and the patella will be a sesamoid bone within this tendon. All of the quadriceps muscles attach via this tendon. So they'll all come down and attach across via the patella ligament or sometimes called the quadriceps tendon down onto the tibial tuberosity below. So this is your rectus femoris and like all of the um, quadriceps muscles, its action is to extend the knee, so to straighten the leg. And when eccentrically contracted, it also helps to control knee flexion. So if I just take that rectus femoris out, you can see what's behind it, which is sometimes difficult to visualize in books. So here, we've got the vastus lateralis, and here, the vastus medialis. So the vastus lateralis attaches to the lateral lip of the linear aspera, which is the line here, and the medialis attaches to the medial lip of the linear aspera. And they both come down and they insert into that patella tendon that comes down to the tibial tuberosity. Going to slide them out of the way so you can see what lurks behind, which is the vastus intermedialis, and that inserts from the anterior and lateral shaft of the femur. It comes down and inserts into the patella tendon, down into the tibial tuberosity. So all of the quadriceps femoris muscles are involved in extending the knee and they also help to control knee flexion when eccentrically contracted.